after a five kilometer harrowing drive on a very rough road to get here. We've arrived at Refugio Los Volcanes, and this place is just gorgeous. And picked out a really nice spot here outside. You can hear the running water. This is just gorgeous. While we were having lunch, we spotted a plush crested jay across the little stream. We were staying here because this location was close to tomorrow's destination. We weren't looking for hummingbirds here, but we did see these crested oropendulas building their new nests. Another early morning wake-up call and we were off to Samaipata. Welcome to El Refugio Los Colibris. We were welcomed by Elva Vallejos. She and her husband, Saul Arias, built this hummingbird refuge, the only dedicated hummingbird habitat in all of Bolivia. I unpacked my camera and I took a look around to find a hummingbird. The first one I saw was a darling little crowned wood nymph who seemed to be guarding the territory near the entrance. I'm here with Saul Arias, and he is the owner of the property. He's got a huge property here, just filled with blooming hummingbird flowers, feeders, and hummingbirds. How long has this been here? Well, we're beginning uh, the, uh, with the hummingbird refuge uh, 12 years ago. 12 years? Yeah, like we established in here when uh, uh, we, the, the land here is absolutely grass the cow grass and uh, we transform everyone like it's, you know, it's green but we're planting one on one. Oh that is marvelous so you've turned this from a cow pasture back into this <laughs> uh, bird refuge that's amazing absolutely and uh, in the beginning we planting only like the the little bushes uh-huh and uh, but now we planted like it uh, little trees the big trees because one day like it's uh, blooming for hummingbirds uh -huh. and um, in the beginning we had like uh, three hummingbird species mm -hmm. but at the moment we have uh, 18 species like this this is the bigger record in the year Saul and Elva are biologists and they turned their property into a semi-wild garden for hummingbirds in order to give the best conditions for survival to these birds that visited them every year they started by studying the flora and collecting the seeds and seedlings to begin constructing the garden. They brought in more plants and planted native trees. It took several years for everything to grow and the hummingbirds to become regular visitors. This is the same stuff I have growing on the balcony in Studio City. We call it firecracker plant. The hummingbird they first saw visiting their property was the glittering bellied emerald and there were several of them flitting around the property today. But soon other species started appearing here like the white bellied hummingbird that we found in the trees in front of the little overlook built on the property. By 2019, Elva and Saul counted 13 different species that were visiting their refuge. Today, we saw a white vented violet ear who liked to hang around the porch. 
but I was really excited to see a Planalto hermit, a species which I had previously photographed in Brazil, but was able to get a much better picture of here. <laughs>